All right, so the unique Mantis Q. Well, I didn't even know this drone was coming until about five days ago when one of the viewers of my channel sent me an email and told me all the details about this drone. Unique launched it pretty much today. It's launched over in Europe. And uh, what is it? Well, it's a drone that if the DJI Mavic Air and the Parrot and Nafi got together and had a baby, well, it would be the Unique Mantis Q. So now Unique is getting pretty wise. They know they can't compete with the Mavic Air, the Mavic Pro, or even the new Mavics coming out, or even the Autel Evo. Maybe they think they can't even compete with the Parrot and Nafi, although I think they can. So they looked at what's out there and they saw, well, the DJI Spark and they said, let's compete with that. Let's make a better Spark because the Spark is a great travel drone. It's probably the best travel drone on the market for the price. So they're making a drone that's basically a travel vacation drone with all the features you'd need. Um, that is like a Spark, but only better. Now, I don't know if everybody's going to agree with me that it's better, but uh, I'll run through all the specs and the features and then you decide at the end if it's better than the actual Spark, especially price-wise. For the price, you actually get quite a lot in the unique Mantis Q than you do in the Spark. All right, so the first thing everybody's going to want to know is the price. I'm also tell you the price before we even get going. So over in Europe, it sells for 499 euros for the base package. There are two versions of the package. I'll tell you what they are, but the base package will cost you 499 euros, which is about $570 US. Will that be the price in North America? I don't know because they haven't launched it here yet, but when they do, you'll see the price. I'm sure it's gonna be around that or even less. So the reason I have the Spark out is just to show you the size. It's a little bit bigger than the Spark and it's a little bit heavier than the Spark. And when I say heavier, it's because the Spark in its current configuration weighs 300 grams. The Mantis Q weighs 480 grams. Now the Spark does not have foldable arms, but the Mantis Q does. The Mantis Q also has low noise foldable props. It's supposed to be very quiet. I've never heard one, but I assume it's pretty quiet because that's one of the selling features. It also has incredibly almost double the flight time of the Spark. This thing here will get you, what, 16 minutes? You know, that's what they advertise. And the Mantis Q is, I think it's 31 or 32 or 33 minutes. So it's double the flight time of the Spark. The Spark comes in several color configurations. The Mantis Q only comes in black. The Spark can be purchased without a remote control. However, the Mantis Q comes with a remote control included in the price. Now, when the Spark came out, one of the gimmicky selling features was the gesture controls, which carried over to other drones eventually later. Uh, the Mantis does not use gesture controls they use voice controls so you can do some of the same things but with your voice rather than uh, with gestures so you're gonna be yelling into your phone now one of the cool features on the mantis is face detection so when the drone is no more than four meters away from you and you smile it will then snap a picture which is pretty cool the mantis also has a follow me mode and what's really interesting on the mantis is it has a sport mode that goes up to 72 kilometers per hour that is pretty fast for a little drone now the range of the mantis is kind of confusing for some people uh, since it's being launched in europe first in europe they have different range restrictions so in europe it will only fly to a maximum of 800 meters because it uses the ce configuration in north america the maximum range is 1.5 kilometers under the fcc regulations now this is where things get interesting on the mantis as opposed to the spark the spark has a 1080p camera and it has a bit of digital image stabilization the mantis has a 4k camera with a bit of digital image stabilization. Now the Mantis can take 13 megapixel photos in both JPEG and DNG, which is the raw format, which is very good for post-processing. The Mantis also has a fail-safe ability, so you can't lose it. It has returned to home because it has GPS and GLONASS. So it will come back to where it took off if the battery is low or if it loses communication. Now the Mantis also has ultrasonic sensors on the bottom for indoor flight mode, so you can fly it indoors if you desire. It also comes with a very standard common unique intelligent flight modes which are journey mode that's sort of a mode that we've become used to that's when the drone flies away from you out really really far and then comes back so it can capture a wider image of where you are it has orbit mode point of interest so you can circle objects or yourself and because of the low price this drone will appeal to beginners so because of that it has the typical unique geo fencing you can enable it or disable it so you can keep the drone within a certain parameters it won't fly too far away and now let's talk about the camera system on the mantis because that's what a lot of people would buy 
this for. If you're going on vacation or travel, you want a really good camera. So let's take a look at that. So right off the bat, the sensor in this here drone is a very small sensor. It's not a one inch sensor or anything crazy like that. It's your typical one over three sensor. So that means it's similar to what's in a Spark or a Mavic Air or a Mavic Pro. It has a really wide field of view, which was pretty amazing when I saw that. It says on the specs that it's 117 degrees field of view. Well, when you think of most drones, most drones are like at 80 degrees, 90 degrees. So when you get up to 117, that means you're going to get a really wide field of view. You could be close to an object and it's still going to look like you're far away. Now, when taking video, you can take video at 4K 30 frames per second. You can go all the way down to 1080p 60 frames per second, which is very useful. It does not say in the specs what the bit rate is, but I'm going to guess the bit rate on this is probably... 50 or 60 megabits per second. So with most drones on the market today, you can fly looking 90 degrees down, then pull the camera looking straight, and most drones can look just a little bit above the horizon. This one goes about 20 degrees above the horizon. Unique is including, just like the Peridonafi and the Autel Evo, they're including the SD card with this drone. It even has, when filming video, it has sort of like a log mode. They call it RAW, which really lessens the colors, and you can do post-processing to make your video look better after the fact. My only concern with the camera is there is no three-axis gimbal. Certainly there is a gimbal and it will have one of the three axis. I don't think it even has two. And in the specs, it says it will digitally image stabilize a 1080p 30 frames per second or a 1080p 60 frames per second video. It makes no mention of image stabilization for the 4K video. So if that's the case, then that means you can film in 4K, but if you start moving your drone around like this all over the place in wind or bouncing, stopping, going forward and stopping and up and down, your image is gonna go up and down and side to side. So if there's no wind or you're standing still, it, your image might come out okay. But in those other situations in 4K, it may not look the greatest. And as mentioned before, the Mantis Q comes in two configurations. You can either buy what would be the base package or the Fly More package. Let me tell you what you get in the base package and what you get in the Fly More package. So here we go. So in the base package, you get the drone, the controller, the battery, one spare set of props. You get eight screws because I guess you have to screw in the props. You get the charger and a USB cable. In the Fly More combo package, they call it the Mantis QX pack, you get the drone, the controller, you get a bag to carry it around in, you get three batteries, two sets of spare props, 16 screws, vice the eight screws, and you get the charger and the USB cable. So that's the Mantis Q. Oh yeah, you're probably wondering, when is it available? Well, I honestly don't know. I can't wait too long because once again, it's a travel vacation drone and they want to get that travel vacation period. So if you have any information on the Mantis Q from Unique, post it below in the comments. As I get more information, I'm just going to put the information in the description below and all the updates will be there. If I said anything incorrect, it will be corrected in the description below. If I forgot to mention something, it will be in the description below. So with the help of you, the viewers, pass me some information. I'll post it below and then everybody will have all the details on the Mantis Q. So I hope you enjoyed this somewhat informative video of the unique Mantis Q. It definitely looks like a nice little competitor to the DJI Spark, which is good because now DJI is going to have to go make a newer spark which we all know is coming maybe they'll put it out sooner this year you never know anyways thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next video